How to adjust the position of a media file on the edit timeline by referring to the time code in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Inside the edit window in this example project in DaVinci Resolve, the current project comprises of three clips that make up 10 seconds of duration altogether, with each of the three clips having a duration of 5 seconds, with clip 1 beginning at the very start of the timeline at 0 seconds and 0 frames. From the left side, the first two digits represent the hour mark, followed by minutes, then seconds, and then frames. Select the project settings icon in the bottom right corner of your interface, and find the timeline frame rate in master settings, so that you can see how many stills make up each second of duration. Here in this case, the frame rate is 30. A time code reference can be found by dragging the red playhead on your timeline using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A. If I were to have no clips currently selected on my edit timeline, and press the addition key, a time code reference box should appear above the preview window in the top section of the edits window, highlighted with a red border. At present the red playhead is positioned at the 10 second mark. The presence of the addition symbol within the time code reference box above your preview window indicates that we will be incrementing the value used for the time code reference in terms of hours, minutes, seconds and frames, depending on which one of these you wish to apply a numerical value to and in this case the red playhead will shift forward from 10 seconds. If I were to type 30 for example here and press enter, the red playhead has shifted forward by 30 frames which makes up a whole second of screen time, meaning that the red playhead has jumped forward from 10 seconds to 11. If I now press the hyphen key, we can now apply a numerical value to shift the red playhead back to an earlier section on the project timeline, again in reference to hours, minutes, seconds and frames. Although the frame rate of this particular project timeline is 30, you can apply frame change up to 99 using the two digits on the right. Here in this example, if I type in 60 and press enter again, given the timeline's frame rate of 30, the red playhead has now shifted back to an earlier section which is the 9 second mark, 2 seconds before its previous position at 11 seconds. What if you now wish to use this technique to adjust the position of the media clips that you currently have on your project timeline? If I use the selection tool by pressing A and select clip 1 for example, I will now shift this forward by 2.5 seconds on the timeline by pressing the addition key and typing in 215, the 2 representing the number of seconds and 15 representing the number of frames. If I press enter, Clip 1 shifts forward on the timeline by 2.5 seconds, overwriting half of the second clip. If you hold in Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press Z to undo, and now hold in Ctrl once again and select multiple clips, if I now increment the time code reference to 5 seconds by typing in 500 and press Enter again, all selected media clips on the edit timeline are shifted forward simultaneously and all could be shifted back at the same time to an earlier section of the timeline by again pressing the hyphen key and adding the relevant number of hours, minutes, seconds or frames. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.